Welcome to Argue Brothers, the podcast that gives you multiple perspectives on today's hottest topics. Whether you're young or old, you'll want to hear what the Argue Brothers have to say because you might learn a few things. So open up your mind to the fresh perspective that's coming your way right now. Holy shit. And welcome to the first episode of Argue Bros, where you got co host Fred in progress and you, me, I'm, Nico Penguin. What's happening? I'm, I'm progressively scared. <laughs> bro, that voice came in hot, bro. I was like, well, hello, I am well, now recording. Well, I'm like, I okay, am go glad ahead. you are here. I am glad you are here. We will be joined later on in the second half of the show by Just Freeman. For now it is just your co-host nico penguin now i'm gonna talk about what the rules are and there pretty much are barely any rules right fred yeah not many not many just opposing sides i guess yeah it's like we're just gonna be discussing you know friendly banter like like as if you were you know at the barbershop and stuff like that except the difference is is we didn't really go to the barbershop we were just really arguing like playing video games and stuff like that so it's like a lot of arguments like that uh but now it's gonna be just simply recording uh to share with people and hopefully you guys like the content and you know maybe a couple of you guys might give us some inspiration for ideas that we can argue about and maybe you guys might even join in or two what do you think fred yeah i'll be nice nice uh like little kind of like debate kind of crap i'll be cool all right so what topic do we got today um enlighten me (laughs) all right so the topic that i have planned for today is nike versus adidas when you think about you know the swag of these companies and you think about which one is better which of these companies is a better company well what shoes are better what clothing are you more proud of wearing what clothing do you own more of whose uh, uh, athletes do you do you lean more towards you know do you go more towards lebron mj's kobe's ronaldo's or more towards like messi damian Harden, what do you think, Fred? What's your stance? I'm definitely just a Nike fanboy. I just like I like this. I like the check. <laughs> I like the check mark. I like the check mark, man. Cause when you you just know more about Nike, man. Like in, in general, it's just like Coca Cola and Sprite and Pepsi. Now, I feel, like, and I, feel like, I feel like Adidas is even though it's Adidas, under, has Adidas been, is under the radar, cool. They've been Adidas here like for, that yeah, bad boy under the radar, cool. But Nike is like the the star. Nike like the star in the sky, and like Adidas is more yeah, like. I feel like sometimes like, Adidas is is like right there on the verge of just overtaking because Nike has gotten soft. They gotten complacent. You know, like, look at all these shoes that Damian Lillard, James Harden have been putting out. Look at how Messi's outperforming like crazy. You know, like, they're doing all these crazy, eccentric things to try to overtake the market, overtake the styling, overtake with the technology because they're so innovative with the things that, they, that they're starting to bring to the table. And I feel like Nike is kind of lacking in that sense for a bit. It's going to be hard to overcome the apple of shoes. Like, when the people... Think Think athlete shoes and shoes? sports shoes. The apple of shoes, like the apple product of shoes, is the Nike. Like when people think of sports shoes, people think Nike first. The apple of shoes. Wow. It, nice. It's kind of it's gonna be tough. They have such an illustrious legacy. Just like um immaculate shoes, bro. Like I'm not a super foo shoe boy, but I just know Nike is fire. Dang. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm not a big fanboy. You of just Nike know you're like not that? gonna go wrong with a lot of Nike. Adidas oh, yeah, is not really known for their shoes as much, and not until recently. Yeah, because like right now. now like, the quality of sports gear balling, and stuff is really man, good, though. Man, I was balling the other day, and my Nike shoes, man, they ain't give me traction, bro. Like, I was slipping and sliding left and right. I was like, yo, what's going on? And then I put on some dames, you know what I'm saying? And I put, I went to work, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, Adidas just, they got that, they got that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 think about it. Think about it. Like, if you go to the shoe store, you want to make sure that you look at the price tag when you buy some stuff, because Nike is overly price bro tell me not right i mean it depends they're not overly priced just you you shouldn't buy them in store <clears throat> <laughs> because look online look on you can touch the entire world online you only can look at one store with your two eyes bro trust me yo cause think about it man adidas is affordable they're, they're not from they're, experience they're, <laughs> they're geared more like this is what i'm talking about like nike is good yeah the, the apple did the cream the crop and whatnot but they got that premium Price tag associated with it. Tell me not. And 
you've been a victim of that. Instead of going to the new kid on the block that's trying to get your business, that's trying to let you know, hey, I value you. You you know, I'm really affordable and stuff like that. No, you you go to the one that's experienced. Might and- well get some Shaq shoes from Walmart. Get out of here. <laughs> no, no disrespect, though. That's, that's, res- that's respect, but no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude like oh man no like think about it you know you want something that's value it's good and it's geared towards you not something that yeah it might work every time but you have to pay an arm and a leg for it it's like oh this is gonna put a dent in my pocket man like man yeah, that's I'm, why you I'm, wear them two out of three times a week yeah like th- those are the, yeah you, the night stuff like that you can't wear those all the time you gotta put those in a little closet you know you gotta take care of it because if you wear it if you get some little mayonnaise on it that ain't gonna come off right away plus i'm uh, plus i want to throw another not just because of their their um their clothing and stuff but also because of their their branding choices and their how good they are at managing who they have on the roster they be, they just choose they be choosing winners they've been they be choosing winners now like, i will like, what do you mean? Some what, ups, what? like choosing choosing people on their roster like for example like, caliber yeah like they had kobe they had um michael jordan obviously they got the um you know, they got they got they they choose they choose top tier talent and they don't miss the people Damn. who represent Nike don't I feel miss. Like, no, I feel like with Nike that you gotta earn that. I don't feel like they recruited. I, I feel like you earned that. Like once you a champion or once you you recognize that you like you got that's that. Why it I say factor. Nike is illustrious. That's why people look. They know Nike. They know Nike over Adidas. Adidas. That's why I said Adidas is like that nice shadow underbelly that goes under the radar but has quality material. Yeah, I feel like that's why that's why Adidas is such oh. a that 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 dogged like shadow. That's that underdog that's capable of overtaking if if nike just stays doormat because look <laughs> look what happens when then, when then don't never forget never forget though you got ua with a little three point she's looking for a three-point shot from behind the arc <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yeah they're coming I mean, for, they're coming for that curry. market space they're coming for uh-huh. that swag you know what i'm uh-huh. saying never never forget the little ones just want to throw that in there yeah they're coming for all that they're, they're trying to get all that money they're trying to make sure that it's not just two two people in the in the market space they're seeing that there's there's room for for and same with puma puma signed the mellow ball you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. well, michael they porter jr they, they signed the almost pretty much the next generation of stars you know what i'm saying like everybody know that the mellow ball is going to be the next superstar in the nba right next to zion williamson they're going to be battling you know with trey young and luka Doncic, like and uh oh you know so it's like you know you're looking at the at everybody on both sides like trey young he got adidas on you know he let that thing fly you know what i'm saying the mm-hmm. got that puma gear you know, questionable, but that means that he's going to be, you know, the head or the face of Puma, just like uh, Steph Curry is with the uh, Under Armour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, deservedly so, obviously. You think he deserves to be the face of LaMelo? I mean, the way he's playing and then the way he's prospected to play. I mean, yeah. Would you think. have would you have given him that shot before he would have played like that in the NBA just off, just off of his Australian debut? I mean, I think, yeah, he think he would do I think he was doing pretty good work out there in the EU too before he had to come before he came back oh heck yeah man i, I think, thought i think i think he should i think he should have been at least offered two-thirds of the kind of offers that Zion was getting offered before he started playing yeah it's kind of sad though because he had like everybody like all his uh brothers were saying he just like, had skills he just he had, had the most skills. Skill. yeah he had the most and he had skill, the, the most mindset talent. to go go at it and he had it's like almost when he plays he enters into the zone like just i'm having fun this is not the hardest level of competition or the easiest this is just the perfect level where i can do this for hours on end and I don't even like break a sweat type thing and I feel like that's why he's always dominated and been the best player in his team for like years on end is like that mindset of just like staying focused even if it's been, you know chucking up bricks he has that mo- he has that mindset because at some point it's just gonna start clicking and obviously it just started clicking it's like if you <laughs> it's like if you don't chuck up a thousand shots you don't know what what you're gonna fix with your shot you feel me mm-hmm. so it's like you know having that as a pretty dope mindset it's like you keep doing it you keep doing it and, and all his trainers that are around him, you know, they're all setting him up, you know, to have that success. But, you know, we deviated greatly from Nike and Adidas, but, you know, it just goes to show that there's so much talent in, in the shoe game and the and the branding because they take it outside of just shoes because they then they bring the clothing into it and they bring all this pretty dope, like, you know, who are they as an individual? But you got anything else to add? No, I just, I think that, I think that they're both in the position they should be in for right now. Like, it's going to take a lot to take down Nike because all Nike has to do is just stay Nike. They have to keep releasing the same shoes, keep with the same hype. They already got a really great roster, and they lock them down for long periods of time. Like their long uh, deal with LeBron and such. So they don't have oh, much snap. to worry about. I 
about. I totally forgot about that. They be doing so, lifelong deals like that. Yeah, so they don't really got too much to worry about. It's I'm like it's gonna take a lot to take them down because they they make money when their stars do well and they get the right stars, so they can make a bunch of money because oh, their yeah, shoes sell so because true. of the stars. So they don't really right. have to do too much. That's why like they don't have to invest too much because into the it, intentions girl. already so on gonna, them all the time. So that's why I'm saying gonna take a lot for another company of that stature to take down Nike without. But that would without, mean like, that would, that's that's why you got it's like a racehorse kind of thing. You got to choose the right stars to invest in so that they become the face and brands because your brands are sold oh, based so on that. Oh, so it's an investment war like that. So yeah. it's like Adidas that's why being the like, money matters. So that's, the why, so that's why these companies be ad- investing, you know, quote unquote, into these athletes to see which of these earlier athletes. and earlier. That's why they're laws against because they're trying because the, if they pick right, like a lotto, just like with just like with LeBron at eighteen, they they, they locked him down. They, they they hit the lotto with man that man that man. They made billions off him. Oh yeah, because then it's just like an investment company. It's like you're buying like a thousand shares at point. You're buying him. You're buying his face. You're buying his career. You're buying all that. Yeah, and then the you're moment he wins that championship of, or the moment he gets drafted. All him until they want to buy material of him. And so what is it? His shoe brand. Yeah, you're buying You're buying him. That's, wow, what, that's, that's what it good. is. Yeah, I never saw it like that, and man. That's why, that's, why, that's, why I say, that's why I say like the sports company and such. It's literally like, kind of like a racehorse kind of thing where you're, you're trying to get in early on who's going to be the best outcome, who's going to have the best vision. Not only the best player, it's who's going to draw the most attention. That's so true. And LaMelo's been able to do that. It's almost like... And that's why I say Melo going to be a great face because he has a great mystique or he already has the the, the, the how he pull. plays is yeah, kind of fun has, and everything. He has that pull yeah. that, that right. pull, like, like that's why they Curry's the underdog can't. but he's great because he has such a great aura like everyone wants to shoot like Curry yeah now. it's like, like they can't afford not to play him like there's so much money riding when he when he gets played one just like Luca you know there's so much riding mm-hmm. there's so much money one and then two it's like he's actually good so it's like you put that you know just like LeBron you put two and two together you know you put people that are capable of drawing a crowd one in LaMelo Ball, Luka Doncic, uh, LeBron James, Zion Williamson, and they can actually play basketball and dominate. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know, it's easy. It's easy pickings for the company. So, you know, but it, that's a long bet, too, because, you know, look at Greg Oden and look at all these individuals that just didn't perform up to that's par. Why the, that's why I say Nike is amazing because they don't miss and they and they deserve that respect. Now, they, they only have to go for vetted shots now. They don't have to go out in the blind to find top talent now because the top talent comes in them and they get the they get the finest pickings so again nike didn't have to do too much they have to do too much recruiting money and all that kind of stuff now say an adidas say a puma say an under armor they got to go out there and work they got to go out there and work real hard to pull these players in the the nike would yeah, come they, got, they gotta be lucrative they gotta be like hey you can be the next that's mj right. that's why that's you why, why like, that's why you MJ. can't look at it nike versus you gotta look at nike versus the rest of them dang i ain't even see it like that very true very dominant true. like that like they have they have the dang. easiest job ever because the people who the people who they want want them and so they get to play to the rules of whatever they want to give them they're the all-stars yeah exactly. they, have, they have they have the list they have the they have the pedigree they have everything and That's so unless it. you're like a godlike town like zion or lebron james you don't get to like negotiate as much as you think you do and such what if it's like with his the team brand. just like with the 30 teams if you go play in a, in a lower in in a lower in um city they pay you way more because they because they need the draw they pay you way more because they need they need but you to also, stay in there also remember in, in in the early days Nike had Michael Jordan and they were so successful that they let him branch off yeah and they followed they followed that blueprint of, of picking great talent and growing up with great talent because the talent sells itself so yeah, the like, shoe sells everything like Adidas has like Messi that's like right now one of the most legendary goat tier players in the sport of soccer they got Damian Lillard and, and you know they got James Harden they don't have any I don't I don't see them having anybody like that big time yet you know on on the adidas side because like you said fred everybody's more geared towards and getting pulled by nike but you know i feel like at some point you know they're gonna pick right and they're gonna select somebody that's gonna be you know he's 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 getting up there it's like stables it's literally just stables of stables of teams like court jockeying so the other ones are getting good there's people who are shifting the table now like other big names are getting younger i agree like as donovan mitchell he signed with adidas yeah that shoe was nasty man Man, for the Marvel, bro, when Marvel did a contract with Adidas, I was like, what? 
what? Yo, the whole Marvel thing with Adidas was crazy. Dude, that's nah, crazy. It was dope. It was dope, but uh, Persia, I didn't like it. Oh, you didn't like it, dude. I love that, dude. That thing was popping. Like, I like I like how Kyrie's shoes had, like, those really dope designs and styles, too. But, you know, having Marvel partner up with Adidas, you know, sports, anime, come on now. That's the epitome of Argue Bros now. You can't even is refute it, that. Is it? Is it? <laughs> you can't even refute that. <laughs> I ain't even never seen them. You never seen them? They're the, nope. they're the Captain Marvel. Wow. Put, it in the, put it in the chat. Oh, I got to put you on. Wow. I didn't Ew. even know that. Yeah, that's, that was a whole thing, bro. And it's still a whole thing. Yeah, yeah throw but, uh, out. not as much. <laughs> bro, some shit be costing five hundred, six hundred. I'm like, man, what? Yeah, bro, I can't even I can't even get Kobe's. Yeah, man, that's the price of Nike. I'd be like, I could buy him, but why? No, nope, I'd be bro. like, every time, every time, no offense, no offense, but like every time, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I could probably I'd probably take a plane trip and buy him on the other side of the sea cheaper and, and fly oh back and like <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a big trip and bro. get the Possibly, dude. Possibly, I can go over there and give you a few of them. Come back and cheaper. God damn it, you're onto something, bro. <laughs> get them from the store. Go out right outside the factory. The FBI, yeah. is wa- the FBI, they're gonna is be, gonna be bro, selling like they're haggling tickets at a thing. baseball game <laughs> <laughs> for some fun. <laughs> Like freshly made Nikes, get them, get them cheap while they're here. Before they cross to the U.S., where they almost <laughs> ten times the, the price. <laughs> nah, Nike. Be like, okay, I'll give you three dollars if you make ten pairs. <laughs> Sell them for thir- three hundred. Nah, you mother. mean ten <laughs> cents? What you mean? Ten cents a pair? Thirty cents? Damn. <laughs> Damn. What you mean? They get paid like three dollars a day. Even better, nigga. We out. I bet. You, I bet you they get paid like three dollars a day. Something. Man. Nah, I put the link in the I'm, chat. So you can see. Oh shoot, they look crazy. I like them green ones. That, that remind me of my my blue the blue shoes I paid like two hundred dollars for. There's more than only one. I thought it was only the Captain Marvel, whatever. No, it's a, it's every it's like literally every. Oh, there's wow. an Iron I Man. The, there's oh, a I Hulk. The there's a, like yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, and it's and it's by different athletes too. It's not just oh, Donovan no, Mitchell. I seen those green ones, but I didn't know they were. Oh, them white ones the, are clean. They blinded over. me. And that's just like, again, that's just his. There's other. Um, um, other guys have their shoes with the Marvel. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll post a link at the. We'll post a link at the end of this. So y'all can see it too. Um, people. Ooh, yeah, those pur- white purple ones go crazy. Make sure you save that link, Graph. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my god, I want the orange one, bro. It's like fireworks and blossoms. Hella, hella fire. And oh I, man. Oh wait, they're only a hundred dollars. I thought they'd be more expensive. I'm gonna buy this next month. Go, I need some look. better ball shoes. Good look, dog. Good look. Oh my god. Oh wait, I can go all black with it. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, make sure you find one that fits I don't know, they got size 14s man huh? in the what in the style you want yeah in, in my orange blossom shit nice nice good look bro got me some shoes yeah man i'm telling you like adidas they they they're coming up with new stuff to be able to grab the attention right, of the market right. i'm still nike but i'll buy some adidas gang gang hey, we, <laughs> hey i don't know who won but hey <laughs> adidas got some of my money but nike still got like in my heart like i, I don't even I'm, I'm not i don't even love you it like that but it's just like you know when you, when you bought that shoe in the store, you heard? I know, real talk, man. I gave that, I gave that dude who sold it to me plenty too. He probably got like a good ten percent commission or something. Yeah, shit. he made good. So I was like, man, like, whoa! I told him I only could find one pair, probably like ten back there. Yeah. Like, I, got, I got him. I got him. He picked the biggest one. He looked like he got money. He looked like he got money. <laughs> He, 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 no came he, just said two sides. Oh, yeah, he came in with his boys and they all got money. He's the only one that don't got none. Let me make him force himself to make money. <laughs> He's a bet. He's a bet. He's a, it's an easy taking. Easy, easy. Man, them shoes so good too. And he was like, it was like 270. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, nah, nah. When, when, when he said like, come again? Yeah, two fifty. I was like, your wait, shoes, what? It's like you take be- you take better care of your shoes when they cost the same as your car, no? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Girl. Oh my god. No, I'm I'm opposite. I I'm, nah, I'm walking the shoes you, to the to the grind. <laughs> 
<laughs> yo, you shoes. Nah, I'm, yo, I'm wearing. Yo. I'm wearing them shoes for like next sixty days after I bought them. Bang, boy, what you mean? But I just, I, I don't could have slept in them bang. No, no, no. Hold. On. I work from home and I still put my shoes on when I got to work. <laughs> what you mean, bro? What you mean? You just done that, bro. Oh, oh my god. I had to wear them thing. I wear them in and wear them out. What you mean? Bro, when you bought them shoes, I was like, you sure? Like. <laughs> Are <laughs> you sure? Like, I'm like, I ain't gonna let the cashier punk me. What's up? What's up? Get my card out. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I got the bread. What are you talking about? I got the bread. <laughs> no, real talk though. I was just like, I was, I was like, I was like, I was like, dude, we're wasting so much time. I gotta get to the basketball court. And like, we ain't, we already went to other shoe shops in the store. I was like, fuck it, real quick. So I was just like, fuck it. I just wanted to go play ball real quick. I, you know what a really thing, dumb thing was? I was like, I'll just return it after. But then I got in the car and I looked. And that's when I, that's when I said, oh shit, if you take them out the box you can't return it you motherfucker i was gonna return this shit so that was, that was a real that was a real kick all right save my receipt and everything man i'm playing return them things after i played in them all right bro i didn't wear them <laughs> <laughs> other way i get i get some wipes and wipe it off don't i i didn't i didn't wear them <laughs> i didn't wear them how do they smell like sweat i didn't wear them all right i don't know rats got in there somehow i don't know i don't know <laughs> bro them dang back what you mean I guess that was that's what ends up happening when you lack, you know, those kind of uh interactions oh, and whatnot. Because then oh, it becomes God, hard to again. it becomes hard to 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 you know I for, that's why I like that's why I love Adidas. I don't gotta worry about stuff like that. Plus it's shoes that it's shoes that actually help me play ball, you know, like oh, my actual, God. I'm trying to say, what am I wear these fire ass shoes? I gotta do some wardrobe but now. Like cause I, I wear the shoes to play ball, you know what I'm saying? You know when I play out with the homies, mm. I love I love dames. Yo, them shoes, them shoes is jealous of them. That's 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 the one right there. No, yeah. that's that right there is fire. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Since Kobe's are like a thousand dollars to buy, I think I'm gonna get some curries. Yeah, they're expensive, man. Oh, like, yeah, any, like because of because of that reason? Because he's dead, and everybody, anybody, and everybody is uh holding them and selling them for OD. I wonder if there's somebody who has a complete Kobe collection that's now worth millions. Most likely. Most likely. I bet they don't want to say it though, because then they're gonna become targeted. Exactly. Because who wants to pay extra money for security on Kobe's when you're just securing but, it but not saying anything? Mm-hmm. Like you said, they're not going to produce any more sneakers of his, which oh, is scary. I didn't know that. Yeah, they said that like a year, a year. Which means uh, they're controlling the market cap, thus increasing the pricing, making more money on no, each sale. they make the no, last they one called like the mom. After, no, I think, they, I think they're like canceling it because um there was rumors and shit saying that Kobe was going to start his own sneaker shit. Yeah. <sighs> but you know that's why I rock Adidas. They made a they made a beautiful transition from a company that didn't really care too much about sneakers and basketball to a company that now is trying to also thrive and you know bet and find the right athletes that are gonna take over and whatnot. Yeah. They're gonna get there at some point. You know I wouldn't be surprised though if any of the other companies like Under Armour or uh, Puma or even Reebok, um, if any of them actually start cranking up and start making good stuff. All we have to do is ask when you think of sports brand what name do you think of and like pretty much 75% of people are going to say Nike and there Honestly, goes the dilemma of brand some might say Jordan oh that's true Nike you know that's affiliate of Nike of course but so still nowadays, Nike wins but nowadays kids don't know that Gen Z uh, doesn't know it that. doesn't matter if they know it Nike still no, wins that, actually that's so true Gen- the new generation doesn't really pay attention much to who are the previous winners or losers they're looking at who's winning now and who's, Ooh, who's exactly. doing good they're, they're, they're like the TikTok, you know, they're like the fashion again, yeah, where exactly. Nike has all the young kids' minds already by owning the older people who are above them. So then the young kids grow up to be the, the, the people who they are young kids are looking at, and they yeah. have them on their roster because I they wanted agree, to be Nike but, from young. But if a young black or any male in the hood, they go to a shoe store, they go ask for Jordans, bro. Yeah. They're not going to be like, Nike, they're going to be like, let me get some Jordans. Their mom going to be like, nah, they're too expensive. Then they'll be like, all right, let me get some Nikes. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Like, it, like some kids are actually like you know fans of Nike that wait for their day drops and everything, you know. But mm-hmm. other kids, they just don't care. They just be like, okay, I like this colorway. What are they? Nike? Or oh, oh, they're not Jays? Okay, they still look cool. Or some in some cases, they'll be like, oh, you know, Nikes are still top tier, but they're not Jordan. Like, uh, I heard a lot of motherfuckers like say that. I feel like they're gonna get there once they have that breakout star that's gonna you know like right now like of the reason it's I feel like the, James right now no, no, I, feel like, I feel like for Adidas like because Damien is is doing so good at playing ball right now that they're capable of, of putting so much time and effort into the shoes because he stays performing at that high tier of a level you know once they get that championship I feel like I feel like at, at, with at every sport once you win a championship as a brand or as a company it's like another level of like I made it. Because you you verify all your fans' beliefs in you. And do you understand what that means? It means they get to completely celebrate and say, I I was right. I I have a hand in this. And so they want to buy paraphernalia regarding it. It's a totally different level. Mm. Once you win a championship, do you 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 invoke and you invoke the completion of the spell of basically being a fan. It's like they we we believed in for so long he finally won. And now now they buy stuff because of that. It's a whole different whole different whole different mindset after that. I think why think the world changed when LeBron won a championship on Aaron. When Ray Allen hit that three, the Dang. whole world paused. Mm-hmm. And that sea of white, man. <laughs> That was a shot. <laughs> Gotta give it a moment, moment of silence. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Adidas, Damian Lillard, yes, he is a top tier. But, bro, although Damian Lillard is a high performer, James Harden is still above him. I don't know about uh, that. I don't dispute that, bro, 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 bro. I don't know. That's, there, that's is a... too, there is too much Dame hype this year, fam. Dame is great, but nah, he's not top two. Nah, but I'm who's saying better, the Adidas company. I'm saying, in, no, no, I'm saying in the <laughs> Adidas company. He's not too. In the Adidas he company, better. yes, he is. Oh, are you talking about just Adidas? Yeah. Like, oh. do you see the promotion? They only they, they only promote OD about James Harden stuff. Rarely. Bro, the shoe that he made, he Damian Lillard dropped the shoe just being petty on Paul George, remember? Yes. <laughs> that was, dude, that, you know how much amount of pull you gotta have to do something like that? <laughs> he was like, yo, Adidas. That's why he's number two. Let me rub it in this guy's face. <laughs> Bad shot. That's why he's number two. Nah, but I don't know. I don't you know. wonder who sells more. Yeah, I feel I feel like if it's done more so based off of like percentage of growth, or if it's done on certain areas of sales, because obviously Nike does have a better vantage point with a bigger reach. Not to say that Adidas has a lesser reach, just they're a little bit more established. But in certain areas where it's like they're both new to the market, I feel like they're both selling an equal amount because now companies are starting to take note. But that Nike is worldwide bro yeah adidas is worldwide too you know messi is is from argentina playing in spain that's worldwide yes it is and they sponsor and adidas sponsors not only you know games sports events sponsorships etc you know they sponsor teams they sponsor stadiums you know just like nike so they they both have their 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 swagger to it you know that's what makes them both independent you know adidas is simply i feel like since they have this new like chip on their shoulder kid from the block mindset that they're capable of executing that with with you know affordable content affordable branding you know and things that are more relevant to the newer generation you know having shoes that are inspired by marvel while the marvel series is ongoing and now it's like a a frenzy type thing that's that's rad especially as an individual who loves that you know hello come on now nico pengen i love writing and nerding out and stuff like that that's that's crazy you know i never would have thought you know like 10 years ago that i would have liked adidas because i always was team nike because nike was always that dominant player in the field but then when i started to realize that they started getting complacent they stopped making good shoes they just started re-releasing the same shoes over and over again and just changing the name they weren't adding any jazz they weren't adding any spice they were just you know blah just like when the iphone was just doing the same boring old thing and just you know you know the five the iphone five the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, 7, 7S, like, and you're not doing anything new. You're just changing a little itty bitty, teeny, teeny, tiny thing. Like, you know, it's going to take a big change to be able to overcome that complacency. 
You've been listening to Argue Brothers. We hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to follow us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and leave us a review to let us know what you think. Keep listening and we'll catch up with you next week.